typically when people hear this news, it's easy to think, well, that's Washington, D.C. Not a, not a, you know, it doesn't really impact me. Actually, 85% of the federal workforce is outside of the Washington, D.C. Beltway area. And so when we talk about the loss of potential jobs, when we talk about the impact on the American public, we're not just talking about Washington, D.C. We are talking about a devastating impact across this entire country. The blueprint for the president's uh, next budget came out. Virtually every agency is taking massive, massive cuts. The Department of Defense is increasing by like $54 billion. But uh, people need to understand that's not going to increase the number of civilian employees at the Department of Defense. Basically, that's for weapons systems. It is uh, devastating, I believe, really, to um, not only uh, potentially to employees, but certainly to the um, services that would not be able to be provided to the American public. If you think in terms of uh, looking at the EPA, for example, where they're talking about a 31% cut to the EPA funding, to, the, to their budget. If you're somebody who really cares about drinking safe water, for example, uh, breathing clean air, that is something that's gonna be a problem for you. The American people are going to lose if Congress appropriates and passes this budget blueprint. I think our members are concerned. I think most of our members, if they're retirement eligible, are considering going ahead and retiring. And with that, you lose a lot of the knowledge that we have in government agencies. They are hardworking, middle-class Americans. They have an impact on our economy. If we are now putting these people out of work, that's a problem for our economy. And I think we have to, we've got to think about that. Um, not to mention, you know, the fact that um, I, I would hope that folks would realize that these are real, real human beings. And, we, you know, we need, to, we need to make sure that's factored in.